What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to enable the hidden menu on your Verizon Galaxy Note 3. This also works on the Verizon Galaxy S4. So, what you have to be before you start is you have to be rooted, which can be easily done with the Kingo app if you're willing to do so. And then you need to have a root browser installed. So, let's begin. First, you need to go to your root browser. I'm using FX right now. Go to your system to allow root permissions and then go to EFS carrier there's one file in this folder and it's hidden menu select a text editor and then you see right now it says off what you have to do is delete it and in all caps put in on and then push enter to leave the space now save the file Restart your device, and then now we'll see our new options available. There are two main hidden menus I use all the time. One is to check your network status, and that is this number right here. I have it saved into my favorites. This is the service mode, and it tells you some information of the network, LTE network you're connected to, and you can also easily get to your Wi-Fi information by clicking your menu key and Wi-Fi. But I'm not connected to any Wi-Fi network right now. The other really good menu is this number right here. This gives you into your actual service menu where you have a lot of options to change, like your LTE bands, forcing a specific band, enabling bands, disabling, changing your CMA settings, and other dangerous things that you shouldn't try. So this is how to enable the hidden menu on your Verizon Galaxy Note 3.